Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, this is the LC79 6x6 here. And we're going to show you just what we're doing inside here on the control side only. We're just one view here today. Okay, Tom, let's open the door. It's on electric struts, which we don't have running yet. But uh, this is a very tight canopy, as you can see. And just have a look at what we've managed to uh, get inside here. We have a 6000 inverter in here. Uh, we've got Scotty at the back, of course, and then we've got our power distribution. We've got 800 amp hours of lithium equivalent that's in here. And there can still be more equipment put on the top of this. And then on the lighting here, we've got our smart switches here running both sides. So as I press this side, the other side responds. You can see our other switches here. We've actually got our USB-C here that can be turned on and turned off. Uh, we've got four tanks in here that are all wired up. Um, and then we've got our uh, usual inverter controls and everything else sitting in here. Now, the other little feature that we've got here, which is quite new, is on the smartphone here, we can turn the lights on. So this is going to be the driver's side work light. And as I touch that on the app, you can just see that dot coming on up here. We haven't got the work lights wired up yet. And as I touch the next one, you can see the other lights coming on. So that's on the app. And uh, Leo will have that on his dash there in the front. But just watch this. We can also turn these on and off from this switch here. So we can actually activate the, the uh, light switch back there. And they're 30 amps per circuit. And it's a FET control device. So absolutely incredible power that we can control on that. That's a flashing red light just to tell you that everything's running. So no fuses needed on it. And we have it both on the smartphone app and also on the switch override here on uh, controlling it. So we're just going to go back now to the smartphone app on uh, Victron that you can see here. Everything's online here. And we're just going to see the power that we're getting out of Scotty here at idle. Fire up cam. And you can see when we start up, it puts power back into the starter battery. And then this will wind up now at idle here. We'll comfortably do just on 2000 watts before we even rev up and that's coming from Scotty in the back and I've got to say how good's that